I started my football from my village, Tinkitam, and uh, I think the reason behind playing football was obviously Sikkim being a very good state in terms of football, in terms of sports. So the environment was uh, was was very very. I think as a child growing up, there was football everywhere. The environment for the game was so big that every village you went, everywhere you you know went to meet anyone, football was a topic that was discussed, spoken about it, uh, and you you could see a lot of you know everywhere from town to villages, all kids from elderly all playing the sport. So I think that environment really motivated and also generated a lot of interest uh, for me to play the sport. So that's how I started. I guess five six years onwards I started, and uh, other years of. 10 was where I got scholarship from Sports Authority of India in, in football. The seriousness started from then on because uh, being spotted and getting a scholarship because of football, then that made me take football a bit seriously. Before I got a contract from a club in Calcutta, East Bengal, um, I played for Under-16 India and Under-16 India came with inter-school tournament Subrut and that's where I was spotted and got that opportunity to get into Under-16 team and that's how the journey started and uh, and then you know a bit of that uh, the camp was held in Calcutta where you know Under-16 team was given quite a big mileage in terms of media because we had a good set of players the team was good and that's how it started and then coming in Sakim played a, a tournament Governor's Gold Cup where I was spotted by big clubs from Calcutta. 93 when I moved to Calcutta, I was just 17 and that's how my professional journey with, uh, with East Bengal and football started. No, I think football in India has definitely grown from the time we started and now. Uh, I think the good thing is the number of kids playing the sport is, is huge now. Um, and at the same time, I think now a lot of the players who want to be professional can actually play football and make a good living out of it. So uh, that's a good sign and uh, important thing was, you know, more kids to play. In fact, now if you look at the data as well, I think number of kids below age of 12 playing, you know, football is I think almost even bigger than cricket as well right now. So the viewership of football matches in television is gone you know we go, it's gone really really high so it's encouraging uh, it looks good but uh, obviously we've got a lot of work to do and uh, the good thing is that it can't go below this it can only come up uh, the only pace it can grow is a question mark so i think everybody will have to work and make sure that you know we we, we do it in in a much bigger and faster pace to, to develop so uh, otherwise i think uh, so far it, it's been really really good Obviously, at the end of the day, wherever you work, wherever you play, and being a footballer, you play till certain age. You know, as a sports person, you can't go beyond certain age. So once you retire, then the only thing for for me was to get back, come back to Sikkim. That's where I grew up, and you know, I did not spend much time here because at the age of 17, I left, so I was out for almost 20, 24 years. So coming back, obviously, you you've seen the world, you've seen across India, and you feel that you know you you've been blessed with. Uh, uh, whatever you've achieved so it's important for us also to come back and give something to the state uh, apart from you know sports as well so i did come back and we started football club here we wanted to do a lot of football uh, academies across sikkim as well but with club we've been quite successful we've had a football pro semi-professional club for the last 15 20 years we've got 24 players getting salary you know 12 months here which i own it and i run it completely and a lot of the players have got that uh, platform to go outside and play as well and we've also supported a lot of youngsters to go into different different uh, clubs across India. So that way football but to do it on a larger scale in terms of sports as well at the end uh, you can do only a little bit through your own. So if you want to do in a bigger scale in terms of you know the policies for the sports in the state has to be right. Uh, you know there are some states which really did well. If you look at Mizoram 10 years ago there had only one player who was playing in, in India in some of the big clubs but the policies and the uh, you know, slightly infrastructure development, slightly the policies for the kids, younger generation to play the sport and encourage from the grassroots to, you know, different villages, uh, uh, that promotion and policies were right. And now they've got around 70 players playing across different professional clubs across India. So I think this is where we, we also need to, you know, if you want to push our younger generation to sports or football, 
I think even the policies of the government has to be right, and uh, that's what I think we we are trying to push the government to, you know, get uh, kids more, more younger generation to get into sports, just not football, but uh, sports at the end of the day teaches you way of life, and that no, n you know, no subjects in school can teach you, and that's I think more important for, especially Sikkim because. Uh, the younger generation here, if you look at it, uh, it's not a great record, but we are number one in terms of society in India. And I think it's only sports that can really make the kids and the younger generation mentally tough. And that I think sports teaches you that. And that's why we need to spread uh, sports, especially football, all across the camp. One of the reasons uh, coming into politics was also you know, just not in Sikkim but entire India and I've been following politics even when I was playing. You know, we sit, watch 9 o'clock debate, uh, you know, uh, have something bad to say about politics and politicians. So I think if you really want to change, you've got to get into the system as well to change. And if you just sit, watch the debate, watch politicians, you know, uh, get frustrated, take out all your anger on the politicians and you don't want to get into it, then you know things are not going to change so i think one of the reason also for me was coming to it i hope you know especially sikkim younger generation get motivated and there are a lot of young guys and girls who are you know aware of politics and want to do it so i hope they get encouraged to join and come into politics um, at the same time uh, Obviously, apart from that as well, it's important that the younger generation is also aware of what's happening around with, with because at, at the end of the day, all the policies for you know any any sector is made through uh, the government and the government is run by politicians. So it's important that the younger generation are aware of policies and uh, kind of, you know, right they have. So one of the reason was that. And second thing was obviously coming back to Sikkim was something which uh, if you want to give it in a larger scale, and do something in a larger scale, I think uh, doing individually is you can still do it, but in a larger scale, I think politics and through through the government you can do. So that was what I felt that if I have to really contribute, then I'll have to come into the system to really contribute that. Youths also, I think in sports and, you know, for me to give advice is going to be obviously the first half of my life was sports and second was, was through now, now just get into politics. But I think ultimately, whether sports, politics, any sector or any field you go into it, I think you've got to really love what you do. I think right now with a lot of youths are trying to see that, oh, that job or that sector is lucrative. It's not, it does not work like that. You know, I want to be a doctor and, you know, uh, on or make it like that. I want to be an engineer. It does not work. I think you've got to do something which comes from your heart. Whether you you know you you become a farmer after qualifying, being a you know a, a PhD or whether you do anything, but whatever you do, I think it has to come from your heart, and that's what you need to follow it. Uh, obviously, you, there are challenges that will come in. Uh, it's not going to be easy. Whatever you want to from your heart, your parents, family to to the policies which are around might not support. But I think. If you start off, if you start and then see that you can get that support, I think you should give it a try. So I think people, the youth of today, just not Sikkim but India, should try and do a lot of things which you really enjoy from your heart to do it and you feel that that would contribute and make a little difference in your life, family or, or the society or the village, people or somebody else. That is what you need to, I think, uh, look into it. But uh, right now we are only looking at, you know, lucrative kind of uh, I think dreams which sometimes might not uh, might you do, might not want to do it from your heart but there's something nice package there and you feel that it's important I think that in a longer run it might not work and uh, I think you live once do what you really love and that is I think for me very very important